Hey, what is up guys? It's the Michigan Minecrafter back here with another video and today I wanted to show you a cool little program called Chunky which I've gotten really into lately um, and I think it's really cool because it allows you to take your Minecraft worlds and make really cool renders out of them without the kind of issues that you run into with using shaders and all the chunk rendering that goes into trying to get the perfect screenshot when you're actually in Minecraft. So um, what you can do is I'm actually in the program right now. This is chunky version 1.3.3 so it could be different by the time uh, if you go and download this at some other time just because it is sort of um, an experimental program but um, if I go and click select world and if you see this world right now in front of me this is the island uh, well the Isle of Boano map which um, is the one that I used for the thumbnail for this video and speaking of the thumbnail if you watched the video a little while ago called the dumb way that I make thumbnails this is um, the video that I was making that thumbnail for. So, <clears throat> what we can go and do is we can click Select World, and what I want to do is I want to do a render of the mini games world. Um, and normally I would do the Michigan map right here, but the problem is it's um, kind of flat. And the best way to demonstrate this um, program is to use a very three-dimensional world. Um, so now that I've got it loaded in, what we can do is drag it to where we want it. So as you can see, I've got the Jerry's Tree thing right here, and TNT mobs right here, and all the other stuff. And... Um, now what we can do is we can decide what chunks we want to actually be loaded for this render. And as you might be able to guess, the more chunks you have loaded, the longer it takes to render. So um, if we want to do, I think you hold shift to select. So if I hold shift and drag, yep then I can use that to select the area that I want to render and this is what I want to render right here. So now that I've got that selected what I can do is I can go to load scene and um, or actually no that's not what you want to do. This is what you do to um, bring up scenes that you've done in the past so what I'm gonna do here is actually click new scene so just click OK, and now it is getting that little scene ready for me. So now that I've got this little window right here, which is the render preview, what I can do is um, sort of use the normal controls that you use in Minecraft. So WASD, uh, yep, OK, I got that right. And uh, just use your mouse to decide which direction you're pointing. So I think what I want to do is I want to sort of be at an angle over by Jerry's tree and look toward TNT mobs. So almost there. And all right, there we go. I think that should do it. Although I want to be down a little more. There we go. So I think that is the direction I want it to be. And then what you can do is you could decide how big you want this render to be. So if I did it at this size, this is actually the resolution that the picture would come out in, and that's not what we want. So what we can do is go to Canvas Size and select uh, 1920 by 1080, which is actually the size of my screen. So it'll be a little bit laggy, um, but not anything that's going to affect the recording, I think. And then, now that we've got that, we can sort of go through and decide some different things that we want to mess around with. So we got the lighting tab right here, which you can use to sort of mess around with the sky a little bit, and shadows and that sort of thing. Or the sky tab, I don't usually mess around with this very much, because sometimes it can be kind of weird as far as the clouds and stuff go. Um, 
And then just some other stuff in here you can mess around with. But I think I pretty much have what I want right here. So um, if I go and... So I think, yeah, this is what I want. So if I click Start Render, then... Alright guys, so I'm back. Um, it turned out my computer did not like recording video and rendering this at the same time, which I guess I kind of understand because it is rendering two things at once that are very, very resource intensive. Um, so yeah, that <laughs> kind of cut off the last section of video. But now that my little render is done, um, I can look through and see if I like it. So, um, it did run into a couple of little issues, which I kind of expected, just because it is a large area. Like, for example, we've got some weird, really bright pixels down here that I don't think are supposed to be there, but it's just sort of, it's sort of a weird area right there as far as, like, translucent blocks and stuff go. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me too much, especially since I'm probably going to use this as a thumbnail for something else um, so it's obviously gonna be low resolution anyway and that probably won't be visible if I make it a thumbnail so this since this fits my needs right here I can go to save current frame and if I click that um, I can save it to my world renders folder which I already have a couple of those set up um, and then I'm just gonna click save and that's going to save it as a picture. And then if I go and open it up, I got my nice little uh, render right there, which looks just amazing. And one thing I didn't realize that this actually did is, oh, whoops, switched pictures. Oh, this is one I took of a different world that turned out really good. Um, I didn't realize that with some of the blocks, I think this is actually like a reflection of these branches in the emerald blocks up there, which is really cool. I really like how that turned out. Um, and of course we got all the cool shadows and the cool way that like the lava and all that kind of stuff looks. So yeah, overall I think this turned out great. And uh, if you guys want to check out Chunky, I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to go download it and check it out and try using it on a couple of your Minecraft worlds. Um, and yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I guess I will see all of you guys in the next video.